It's Tuesday, April 10th, 2018. And we are at 1430 Jamie, J A M I E Lane, Castleberry, Florida, 32707. That's the intersection of Jamie and East Lake here in Castleberry. And they're blowing the leaves on the property. I've been waiting for them to finish for about 20 minutes. So I would take the video despite the background noise. Look at that. That is pretty as a picture here. Little unpaved street, just like about 40 or 50 feet. So you get to your house right here. I am top Castleberry Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country Realty. If looking for a top Castleberry agent, someone who's committed to the area, enough to do and post these videos to give you a feel for what's for sale in the area, call me. Let me help you too. Settle in. This is a medium length tour for sure of this four bedroom, three and a half bath, two story home, 3,300. And 84 square feet, 5,116 square feet on the slab, according to the public records. It's also got a two stall barn on a little lake. Now that we have some peace, you can hear it's got its own raft of cardinals and personatory warblers. I saw on a couple of other ones, birds, because we're on a little lake in the back. So we've got a nice roundabout driveway here. First thing, now this is a bank owned home. It's sold as is. It's going to need some work. That's how these come. Interesting thing about bank owned homes in bad shape. You could ask literally $15.20 for it. And someone would say, well, it's in bad shape. I wouldn't give you more than $13. Um, so the house is probably already substantially discounted. Purpose of this video is to give you a view you just can't see online. You know, we took a bunch of pictures, took the best ones. It looks like a limb came down a while ago. Huh, wonder if that needs to be fixed. And so this gives you a feel for the things that maybe didn't come out in the pictures or what it's really like to be out here. 2.23 acres. Everyone says, God, if I could just find some affordable acreage. A house. A big one. Here it is. And then they say, well, if it was just in better shape. And then we get to two, three hundred thousand dollars more, and then they say, oh, they're so expensive. This is your chance to get in at a relatively reasonable cost right now. Now we've got a two stall barn here, plus storage, which is pretty cool. However, I don't see evidence of a ever being a fence there. So I'm not sure what kind of animals you would put in here and not need a fence. Besides maybe your kids. Actually pretty solid here, especially for a barn. So remember bank owns means it was pre-foreclosure for a substantial period of time. Someone didn't take the time and energy to keep it up, and then it sat empty for a while. And now it's just been on the market for a couple of days. So looking at the pictures online, you can't get down here, see what that is really like. I'm not sure where the property line ends, but I'd be willing to say you have at least some, see the way that fence is there, you have at least some of this little pond. There's a good back view right there. The barn, getting my shoes wet, just for you. Lots of trees. Those are live oaks, Quercus, Virginiana. Nice ones. So here we are in the backyard. You can hear the birds. Nice trees. Get your own pigs, sheep, goats, horses. Mostly lots of peace and quiet. 
All right, we're going to go inside a couple minutes. This will complete our tour of the outside. And the goats, pigs, rabbits, cows that they had looks like this is to protect your crops. So as I said, when you buy a property as is, you're buying it as is, maybe this could go conventional financing. Chances are, it's gonna need to go cash just because of some of the little repairs that it needs. All right, let's go inside. Check it out. See what we can see. And welcome home. Remember the property is bank owned, vacant, it's a little scary. Lots of little things to fix, nothing huge. Definitely a house with lots of potential. So we're looking at the inside utility here, obviously more than full size with all this square footage. Huge. Garage, extra doors. This looks like it was the original part and then there was an addition which we'll see at the end. Probably the thing about the house that could use the most work I would say would be the kitchen, which is nice, but definitely a little underdone for a house of this size. Not that fancy, a little dated. This is the original part though, of the house. So we've got the bathroom here, the big chip in the tub, of course. Structurally, it all seems in good shape. Could it be some wood rot and then a lot of cosmetic things that you would need. And I'm sure we'll look at some of the systems like the AC and things during an inspection. That is all normal. Here's what's not normal. That view, I can get it focused, there we go, that view, out your bedroom, and have all that be land that you own. All right, so we got the original house, big dining room, go on the porch in a second. Got this interesting fireplace, they use like a black cement, which really highlights the stonework there. Very 90s, that stonework. Then we step down, down again. We've got what used to be a screen porch. We'll be up there in a minute. But just beautiful. Imagine not only having this view, but having it all be yours. And if you were to fence it, continue that fence on to even give you more privacy and seclusion for sure. I think this was originally the master suite side. Nice shower head, nice sink, plenty of storage. And then this bedroom, which I think is probably the world's smallest master closet, what was intended. But wait, what's down that hall? Oh my God, the whole second wing of the house. Just a little newer, way more open and echoey. Wee, 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 wee. Got your half bath, three and a half baths, four bedrooms, there's your half, no shower. And then you've got a room that's big enough to play basketball in. Someone really wanted this little sunken ceiling here for something. Uh, 
out there on the carport. All this work, you're even going to tile with broken tile the back. You're not going to take the time to paint the closet. Craziness. And then up the stairs. I've seen a few horror movies that start this way. Empty house, up the stairs. Nice tile work though. And this is obviously why people did this, because they wanted this. A big tub in the middle of their bedroom. Big raised dais for their bed. And the world's largest porch. Holy cow! House I was raised in wasn't as big as this porch, I don't think. Plenty of space and a really nice view. Including trees growing into the porch. Look at that. This is like drone surveillance footage here. Way up high. And that's what you want to see. Got that same crushed tile, which is a popular motif in this house. Got that same woodwork. Beautiful windows. Beautiful view, as long as these people don't look out their window. See you taking a tub in this beautiful tub, which actually looks like it was never used. And now we've got a very large closet to make up for the small one downstairs. Always looks a little smaller and weirder in the video. But someone spent some time giving themselves some options here. All that space. And obviously they want to take a tub way more than a shower. But it is here. And just in case that porch on the front wasn't enough for you, we got one back here, his and her matching porches. So we're back downstairs in the Echo 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 room. We can do one more and more run through, give you a feel for the floor plan. Another thing you just can't get by looking at the picture. to the porch, living room, kind of house that make you want to have like 12 kids because you got room to put them all. And then out, of course you got to have another porch to the front. That's four porches. If I can help you with this, call Top Castleberry Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country Realty. Let me help you with a house like this or this one or another house here in Castleberry. I'll get you a customized list of the properties that you want. Thanks.